them down. Um, you know, like you said, don't use way larger images than you need. Uh, 72 DPI is probably fine for pretty much everything. Um, you don't want anything. It's not to say you can't go a tiny bit larger than the screen, but you know you do want to keep it light, um, as light as you can anyway. Uh, try not to have a bunch of videos playing on the screen. Um, try and keep things down to what's actually necessary. You know, just fill up the page with images, <laughs> especially larger than the actual screen. Uh, is the other? Oh, yeah. yeah, you can also do safe for web and Photoshop if you're saving your own images. And depending on where the images are, there isn't uh, one size fits all. It kind of depends if you're doing a larger slider image, for example, an HD screen is 1920. Uh, pixels wide so anywhere about there or even 1600 if you wanted to kind of stretch it up a little bit um, you can kind of get away with that on most images um, I usually lower the image quality to somewhere where you can't notice a difference uh, usually in Photoshop for example would be maybe a 7 or an 8 you can kind of get away with it and without with very minimal uh, image loss or you can do save for web and do about I think it's 60 or 70 percent depending on the image uh, so you've got to play around with that for each image to see and um, you know if if you have, um, say for example, images side by side, then naturally they wouldn't be the width of the screen. So you kind of got to do the math there to kind of determine what the best size is for that. Um, other than that, I wouldn't recommend doing uh, too many. Sometimes you need to have a video on the home page. It's kind of, you got to determine like, you know, for users, you know, you do want to have a good user experience, but you've got to draw that line between, is it dragging down my whole site speed or, you know, you know, because in the end, site speed is part of user experience too. If the site's taking too long to load, then they're just going to bail. It's just going to be a higher bounce rate. Um, very important speed, like Nick said. So, do not upload big pictures. Um, whatever is 3G and the website has two, three, four megabytes, it's really hard to uh, download it. Uh, one of uh, Nick's uh, favorite uh, speed testers uh, are called GT Metrics, so you guys can more than welcome to go. We'll talk more about it in our next session. Uh, GTmetrics.com, you can see how big is your site, how long does it take to load. Uh, they can test the speed from different point points, from Canada, from South America, from Europe. And you can see how that works. Uh, uh, thank you. H how about how about that CDN? Right now, is so important. CDN uh, stands for Content Delivery Network. Uh, yes, Miss French, we are trying to talk those uh, SEO terms a little bit slower, so the way it's uh, they are easier to understand. Thank you very much. Su Suzanne French is one of our uh, uh, SEO Academy uh, fans. Uh, she gave us a uh, little comments on our session from yesterday. Uh, for us to uh, talk a bit slower with the terms. Uh, thank you very much, Suzanne. We appreciate your help, and we are incorporating your advice as of today with Vida. I hope it's, it's better and slower. <laughs> so uh, let us, you know, tell our students more about this CDN. How does it work? Where is this going? And uh, you know, how how high highly re recommendation is that from from your side as a developer? Uh, CDN is highly recommended, definitely for speed. Um, it's not the only, obviously, the only. Thing when it comes to speed that's a lot of things working together cdn is kind of like the cherry on the top if you will um, you want to you want to keep your site lightweight as it is but um, the way the internet works is say for example the server that hosts our website say for example it's in texas and we have somebody trying to access the website from china for example it's on the other side of the world if you will it's, it's very far away so Logistically, it takes a long time for them to connect from China over to Texas, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so what a CDN does is it actually makes copies of your website and stores them remotely around the world. So you have multiple copies. So say somebody accessing from China might be able to access it from a server in China so that the distance in between them and the server that's that's hosting your website is very short distance. And that will that will lower the latency or you know the, the time that it takes to transmit from one to the other. And that will, in, in turn, for your for your users, it will increase the speed of your website and okay. decrease load time. CDN, Content Delivery Network. Um, so uh, we also know that uh, Nick uh, Jaffer is uh, a creator of uh, websites uh, depot uh, framework. Uh, it's a very lightweight uh, WordPress uh, platform. Uh, he's uh, inventor of it. He's he's built it on his own free time. Uh, it's, it's been used and wide labeled with website Zippo. Um, would like to know, you know, uh, more about the framework. Uh, how come you decided working on it? Uh, how much time you spent working on it? And 
where are you seeing this framework to, to take place in the next in the next few uh, in in the new future? Well, I essentially built the framework. Uh, we call it the framework, but uh, I essentially built it because there were a lot of issues with building sites. Uh, there, I just noticed there are a lot of spots where things can be improved. Uh, part of part of the initial reason for building it too was also because of the jump to mobile. Um, it's built on a Bootstrap framework. There's many different frameworks for mobile, you know, mobile frameworks. Um, Bootstrap was initially built by a couple of guys from Twitter um, as their own in-house thing there, and it kind of branched out from there. Um, from my opinion, it's it's probably the best framework that there is for responsive. Uh, so basically, built it upon that, built it on top of WordPress, and there's a couple other tools that make development and you know managing the website a bit easier uh, while also keeping it light. Um, it is about keeping it lightweight and SEO friendly. Um, that was the, the main priority. Uh, light SEO friendly and you know mobile mobile friendly. Those are the, the main three things that we saw Google going in that direction with um, in, re in regards to ranking. So that's kind of where we started attacking that. Um, it used to be that all those sites would have to be built like from the ground up from scratch in the beginning on Bootstrap and you know with WordPress in mind. Um, it just started taking too much time, so started building those things in from the ground up, so the framework is built with that in mind already. Um, it's got a lot of tweaks and things in there for speed, for SEO, um, and that's, that's essentially it, just to, just to make the whole process a lot smoother and, you know, make, make everything better, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. um, what, uh, where I see it going, um, it's, it's always being improved. Uh, there's just basically following, you know, the best design trends, uh, best, best things for Google, uh, just always working on it, making it better. There's no, there's no perfect, you know, product. It's always evolving and changing. Um, as for time, I don't know how much time I've spent, probably a thousand hours, a couple thousand hours over the last couple of years. So put a lot of, lot of effort and time into it. So that's, that's basically all I have on that. But you love coding, right? Coding <laughs> yeah. is, your, coding is your favorite thing yeah, to do. Yeah. But it's uh, so yeah. The, the framework is extremely uh, lightweight. Uh, you know, I can give you some user experience uh, uh, comments. Uh, it's very easy to maintain it. It's very easy to uh, to change it around. Uh, uh, the speed goes below the second when you know see you see the ending with like a CDN Max or one of those big boys. Uh, so uh, bootstrap developers love it. Um, it does need still, you know, some work documentation and some uh, live samples. Uh, you know, we have Pete from from yesterday. You know, one of, one of the one of the users of the framework. Uh, with some questions, so we'll train him today, making sure that he's up uh, up up on track with 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 all the options. Um, thank you for for everything, Nicholas. We have one last question for you, like. Uh, where, where, where do you see this, you know, like we have now so many screens, mobile, computers, websites, uh, small business owners like, uh, you know, our students, what would you, your recommendation be, for example, they have this situation like, okay, is, is this real, is this going to ever stop or, or do we really have to go on a Facebook, do we really have to learn how to, you know, write or how to post pictures on a website, do we really have to get involved with the, with the online industry as a mechanics, as a local Lawyers, as a, you know, where do you see this going, and what would your advice be to our for our students and and small business owners, uh, how they can you know what they can do to engage themselves uh, online and and you know uh, help themselves to 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 perform better, to make more money, to for their site to work better. Uh, what would your advice be? Uh, my advice is to stay up with the latest trends. Uh, things are changing, you know, everything has gone digital, if you will, if you want to compare something like, um, used to be that people just put an ad in Yellow Pages and that was that was all they did. Um, now everything's mobile, everybody, you know, has a cell phone on them, they constantly have information at their fingertips. Um, you know, customers are more savvy, you know, because of that, they can, they can be in, you know, in a retail store looking at a product, for example, and then they look online to see a better price. Uh, so there's, there's so many things and customers just overall are way more savvy. Um, everything's moved digital again with everybody having a cell phone in their hand. So that's part of the mobile first part there. Uh, so you definitely want to stay up to date with the trends. You don't want to get left behind. Um, that's you know pretty much everybody who's successful is, is up with the latest trends and you know they're trendsetters. Um, so you definitely don't want to be left with that. Um, 
my recommendation is just do your research you know if you need to call a web design company um, hopefully ours and uh, you know we'll walk you through all that um, you know we'll, we'll try to let you run your business and do what you do best um, whether you're an auto mechanic or a lawyer uh, you know we'll try to handle all your online presence for you and, and see what we can do for you uh, thank you very much uh, SEO Dot Academy this was uh, Nick uh, Jeffers He's also one of uh, our teachers uh, here at SEO.academy. If you guys would like to meet him in person, uh, he has a WordPress basics and WordPress advanced uh, classes as part of our uh, education program. Uh, you are more than welcome to read more about Nick Jeffers. So you guys are welcome to test out the framework. Uh, visit our website, SEO.academy. And thank you very much for today.